everybody, Jack the Rail Fan here, back at my local Menards to see what they have for Christmas time. There's some great new things here, in particular, this Hall of Handsome Barber Shop and Grandpa Jack's Hobby Shop, which hopefully that's me when I'm old. Look at this. It's got, uh, it says, trains, planes, RC cars, models, and die cast. There's a locomotive and a model plane there. And on the sides, there's advertisements for Menards and Bachman. And minimal, but still really good detail on the back. I don't know what it looks like lit up, but I'm assuming it looks pretty good based on some of the other stuff they've been coming out with lately. This is probably the coolest thing they've ever come out with, if we're being honest. Um, the Rocket Diner. This is the shell of their hopefully upcoming Santa Fe F3, but this is in a different paint job to look like a very cool building. It has a smoke unit to simulate all the steam and everything coming out of the kitchen, and it says it's water operated. So you just remove this plug, fill it up with water, and I guess out of maybe both holes, probably this one, it'll send a stream of steam shooting above your layout, and that's gonna look really cool. It has a 1957 Dodge truck parked out front. Very cool, some outdoor seating. Uh, Cripple Creek Tractor Repair Shop. My brother would love that. He's big into tractors and farming. A Sinclair gas station flat. This is meant to go against the wall. And last year they had one that was the full building. Uh, I don't see it here today. They must have sold out, but it's pretty neat. They have a flat version now, so it takes up a bit less space. They have updated the Ford dealership to be a Chrysler and Mopar dealership with the Dodge Power Wagon, 1957 Dodge Pickup, and 1959 Plymouth Fury. Very pretty. Down here they have a couple hospitals. I've never seen one of these before. They are very, very tall. If you want to make a sort of a city scene, I'd say a hospital, that police department, maybe that red church there, uh, and one of the taller industries they have here would be great. Personally, I have the National Power and Light, but I have the older one, the American Power and Light, which honestly I prefer the look of, but this one is very cool looking as well. The Metropolis Theater. This thing looks awesome. It says they're showing The Great Train Robbery with Sean Connery. Uh, I once saw that movie, free on YouTube, pretty good movie. And it's neat that the people of Menards County are now able to see that movie. And here is one of four of their new ore cars. They have only this one left here at this store, but they have Burlington Northern, Canadian National, Pennsylvania, and I believe Great Northern. I think that might have been last year's though. I don't exactly remember right now. I'll put it up on the screen. This is, they've had this for a long time, but it's just neat to see put out the Red Church. Here's all their track as usual. And here's a couple of their box cars. There's more parked up here. I love the look of this Lehigh Valley one. Chicago Northwestern, Union Pacific, Santa Fe, and then this one for Frisco. All very beautiful cars. They have HO versions of Grandpa Jack's Hobby Shop. And this is probably another one of the coolest things they've ever come out with. I don't see the O gauge version here yet, but. This is the HO gauge version of the Cripple Creek Crossing. This is their switch tower. That would look real nice on any layout, I think. They have this little battery operated $6 set. And probably the biggest step they've made so far a starter set that is for, it's a track inspection set. It comes with a 1956 Ford cab over inspection truck and a little Jeep Cherokee kind of thing and it also includes a circle of 036 curves and back there just giving us a sneak peek of their F3 that might be coming out sometime next year I hope this this I think is one of the best things they've come out with to get kids back in the hobby because 
back in the 50s, back in the 40s, everyone had a train around their Christmas tree. And now that they're making it a bit cheaper to do that again, maybe that'll kind of revitalize things. They have these 1947 or, or 48 trucks, Ford panel trucks. This is really cool. Cripple Creek Dairy, which is their, their little town, and Cripple Creek in Western. So now Menards has their own railroad. I hope to see more Cripple Creek and Western equipment. CSX and Union Pacific inspection trucks on flat cars. The usual military ambulance on flat cars. Dodge Power Wagon, this is the Air Force version. And then some more of those 57 Dodge pickups. Sunoco and Texaco. I might actually get this Sunoco one at some point. I very much like the look of it. And down here they have two packs of flat cars with nothing on them for 25 bucks, and that's pretty good. Wreckers, box trucks. Back here there's the, even a fire truck. There's that M&M's bus. Box cars, toppers of all different kinds. All in very nice paint jobs. So, that'll be the end of this video. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notifications whenever I come out with a new video. See you in the next one. Bye!